Okay, let's go ahead and simplify this numeric expression. So we have all these numbers with various operations and all of this is expressing something. It's actually expressing or represents one number, okay? And uh, this is the problem that we're gonna be focused in on, on uh, this particular video. But what's gonna make this particular problem awesome is we're going to put our calculators away. So no calculators for this particular problem, just the one in between your ears, that thing right there. That's called your brain. That's not AI, that's not artificial intelligence. That's the real deal. It's like a, an awesome supercomputer. And if you, um, you know, just take a moment, I bet you could probably get this problem right. So if you can figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'll show you the correct answer uh, here in just one second, and then we'll walk through this problem, uh, the solution to it, step by step. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I have been teaching math for decades, and it is my true passion to try to make learning math as easy as possible. So if you need help in mathematics, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so let's go and take a look at the answer. So we have bracket, parentheses, seven minus nine, and parentheses, parentheses, three minus five, and parentheses, bracket, divided by parentheses, eight minus nine, and parentheses. So what is the answer? The answer is negative four, okay? So if you got this right, that is fantastic. If you didn't get this right, don't panic. I'm gonna show you exactly how to do this. But if you did this right, awesome stuff. Matter of fact, I'm gonna give you a nice little happy face, an A plus, a 100%, and multiple stars. You can tell your friends and family that indeed you are an expert in the order of operations and positive and negative numbers because that's what you need to know. Those are the skills that you need to know in order to do this problem. Okay, so let's go and take a look at the answer right now. So, well, actually not the answer, the solution. So um, here is the problem, right? So again, in mathematics, we would um, kind of uh, classify this or describe this as a numeric expression, all right? So all of this is expressing something and it's expressing uh, something that can be, uh, uh, you know, one value, right? We got a whole bunch of numbers here. We want to simplify this down into one number, all right? So that's a real big concept in math. We always want to simplify, okay? But in order to do this, we have various operations going on here. Let's just identify these operations first. So we have subtraction here and here and here, okay? So we have subtraction. What's going on right here? Okay, so we have this parenthesis and this parenthesis. This is actually multiplication right there. And then we have division. Then we have these parentheses and brackets. So we have a, a lot going on. And uh, what we need to understand is what is the correct order to do this problem? So that's where the, something called the order of operations comes into uh, play. This is critical. You must, must master this. Uh, you know, to be successful in, at any level of mathematics. Now, the order of operations is uh, often uh, kind of um, linked to this little acronym right here, P-E-M-D-A-S. There's a cute little phrase that goes along with it. It's, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. So I don't know what Aunt Sally did, but anyways, let's just excuse her. But, you know, that's a good little phrase. I'm pretty sure your great uh, grandparents were using that phrase. It's been around for a long time. So that's the first thing we need to understand. And I'll, I'll do a quick review of that in a second. And the next thing we're going to need to know how to do is uh, work with positive and negative numbers. You're going to have to know how to add and subtract positive and negative numbers, multiply and divide. So these are the skills that you're going to need to know. And um, I'm going to get into this problem and we'll, we'll take it step by step. But let's just do a quick, um, fast, cursory review of PEMDAS, okay? So uh, the P stands for parentheses, but it really stands for grouping symbols like brackets or squiggly brackets like this. So you're going to look for um, any parentheses in a problem, okay? And you're gonna work from the inside out. So in this particular problem, we have brackets. So we're gonna go to the inside of this and work within these parentheses and these parentheses. You'll see that in a second. 
E stands for exponents or powers, like 2 cubed. And then the next uh, uh, group is M and D. It's not just M. This is one of the most big, or one of the biggest mistakes a lot of math students make. They go, oh, it's M. You always do multiplication and then division. No, no, no. It's multiplication or division. It's whatever you see first from left to right. And then A and S is uh, addition and subtraction, whatever you see first from left to right. So again, order of operations, extremely important. Now the rules for positive and negative numbers, that's kind of a lot of stuff. If you need help with uh, you know, any of this or basic math, uh, I'm gonna leave links to two courses in the description. Uh, my Math Foundations course, which course is uh, basic mathematics to include uh, the stuff that we're talking about here and pre-algebra, both of those courses uh, would be good courses to look at. Also, I have a ton of additional videos on my YouTube channel that can help you as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started now. So what's the first thing we need to do? Well, we let me go ahead and write that PEMDAS up here again. So what you wanna be thinking, you don't have to write this down, uh, P-M-D-A-S, but you just need to kind of remember it, right? So you're like, all right, I got, this is a, the order of operation. A guy on YouTube told me to think about the P, the, the parentheses, the grouping symbols. So you wanna identify where you have parentheses, brackets, uh, of any sorts, okay? And you wanna go to the biggest set of brackets. So right here and right here is a, uh, the biggest set of brackets. So now you wanna look inside those brackets and if you have other parentheses, um, you know, other parentheses situations, you know, you need to take care of that. So you need to work from the inside out. So here and here are two sets of parentheses. So it doesn't make a difference. We can kind of do these uh, problems independently. And now this set of parentheses, we can actually do this independently as well. It's not gonna affect the outcome of the problem. So let's go ahead and start. So we have seven minus nine is what? That's negative two. If you put two, well, you need help with your positive and negative numbers. Just remember seven minus nine, you can think of that as seven plus negative nine. Uh, that can help you out when you're subtracting uh, numbers like this. But uh, anyways, the answer is negative two. All right, how about three minus five? Again, that is also negative two, or three minus five, you can think of as three plus negative five, so that's negative two. And remember, right here, these parentheses next to one another uh, indicate multiplication. So right now, we're not done inside these brackets, but we did take a step and address these innermost parentheses. So we have negative two times negative two, of course, we'll get to that in a second. And then eight minus nine, uh, is also uh, a negative one, right? So eight, eight minus nine is the same thing as eight plus negative nine, which of course is negative one. All right, so normally uh, you want to just take one step. In other words, you want to write your problem, take one step, write another line, take another step. But in a situation like this, uh, all three of these steps um, are appropriate. You can take them all at once as long as you're uh, clear and neat, your teacher will understand. Okay, so what are we gonna do uh, next? Well, we're going to simplify this. But uh, before we do this, let me just quickly remind you uh, that if you haven't subscribed, it would really mean a lot to me. Uh, I've been working really hard on my YouTube channel. I'm trying to teach as many people math as, as I possibly can. You know, I have decades of experience. And uh, anyways, if you're getting value out of this, and you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing and hit that notification button. That really will uh, help me out. Thank you very much. Let's continue on with the problem. Okay, so remember, we're down to this. We have bracket, negative two times negative two, and bracket. So now we have to take care of what's inside of these brackets, right? We're still on that parentheses grouping symbol. So negative two times negative two is what? It's a positive four. So now we have positive four divided by negative one. So at this point, we're kind of ready to go ahead and, and finally uh, take care of this division situation. There's nothing else to do. So pos this is a positive four, remember. So you have a positive divided by negative, or you can see it this way, positive divided by negative is what? That's negative. So positive four divided by negative one is negative four. Another way you can see this problem is positive four divided by negative one of course is negative four. Okay, so hopefully this was a uh, pretty easy problem for most of you out there. Now, you know, don't feel bad if you, you know, are struggling a bit with this. All this stuff you can learn, okay? Math, I'm gonna tell you right now, 
is nothing more than a series of skills, okay? It's like climbing steps. And what happens with a lot of um, students is they'll be like, I don't want to take those steps. I just want to leap up here. I don't want to put the work in uh, and climb all these skills. I just want to be at this level of math. Well, it doesn't work that way, okay? If you just focus on learning one skill at a time, you'll get to... Uh, you know, these more advanced levels of mathematics. So just fix whatever little skill that you know you struggle with, all right? It's no big deal. It's perfectly fine to make mistakes in math, and it's perfectly fine not to understand. What's not uh, fine is you not raising your hand, looking for help, and trying to correct these errors. And that's where I like to help you out. So with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.